is that time again, folks. We are back on Behind the Blurb, the only show where we have some of the best comedians out there. I say that because what I'm bringing on is a very comedic and funny person that is on their second semester of The Blurb. So please welcome Sam Thomas. I don't know which camera to look at. Hi, Colma. Hey, you're, you're good, Sam. How you been? I've been good. I've been good. Today's been a very chill day. Awesome, awesome. That's, that's great to hear. Um, it's an absolute pleasure having you behind the blurb. It's nice being here too, and my family uh, says hi, and they're excited for this. Well, hello to the Thomas family. I actually saw them when I went and saw Willie Nelson at Blossom Music Center. They were very excited. Yeah, shouts to the Thomas family. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get things, let's go ahead and get things started here. So, with you being on your second season of the blurb, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you, what made you want to be a part of the blurb? Well, I saw a poster about it, and I really like talking about TV, and I saw that this was talking about TV and actors and comedians, um, and just movies, and I wanted to talk about it, and it seems like fun, uh, and I'm glad, I'm really glad I joined. Yeah, I'm very glad you joined as well. You definitely brought a very funny vibe. Oh, thank to you. The I'm show. Glad. I, like, like I, like I could count more of the times you may have saw a laugh on your <laughs> two hands. Honestly. I try, I try hard. And hey, you very much succeed. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, very, very glad to have you on the show. Yeah. as per usual. Um, while we're on the, I guess while we're on the topic of our the theme of our show being about celebrity gossip and whatnot, I wanted to ask you, have have you your have you yourself met a celebrity? Not that I can think of. No, not really. I understand. But was there a celebrity that you would want to meet? I think that's hard. Uh, I think anyone from SNL would be really cool to meet. Oh, yeah. Uh, just because I really love this show and the history it has. Um, or anyone. Okay, answer. Kieran Culkin. Kieran Culkin? Yeah. Give me a little info about them. I... Uh, have you ever seen Home Alone? Oh yeah, Home I've Alone seen too. Home Alone. He's the kid that pees the bed with the glasses. Oh. <laughs> uh, but he grew up and is Roman Roy on Succession. And uh, in interview, I love him in interviews. He just seems like a very nice, genuine, funny guy, and I think it would be nice to meet him. Neat. That's that's awesome. I'll have to. I want to rewatch Home Alone now. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Um, well, I guess moving on from. I guess moving on from movies to like cartoons and whatnot, what would you say is your favorite like cartoon, fairy tale, or whatever, and, and why would that be the case? Okay. Huh. Oh, favorite cartoon? Yeah. Does King of the Hill count? Yeah. It's an animated, okay. It's an adult animated sitcom. Uh, it is kind of a slice of life type show uh, about this middle class family in Texas, and uh, Hank Hill is the dad, and he uh, sells propane and propane accessories. Uh, his son Bobby is a wannabe performer. Uh, his wife Peggy is a um, substitute teacher for Spanish, but doesn't know any Spanish. But like, it, they, it's a very interesting cast of characters. It is very well written. It's Mike Judge. He also made like Beavis and Butthead and Silicon Valley and other stuff. Yeah, that's neat. That's a great. That's a great pick right there. Yeah. Now you're just making me want to rewatch everything now. <laughs> Home Alone. King of the Hill, Beavis some Butthead. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on, I want to ask you, from the moment you wake up, from the moment you go to bed, tell me, all in between, what would be your ideal perfect day? Okay. So, I wake up around 9, get out of bed, get dressed, whatever, go eat breakfast, um, French toast is probably my favorite breakfast uh, with lots of syrup, lots of butter. Then I maybe go outside for a bit. Uh, it's a little chilly because I, I hate sweating. So it's an autumn um, type day or even winter. I do like winter. I was going to say, thankfully, we are in the fall season. Yeah. So then uh, maybe be outside for a bit, go for a walk. And then I think I really enjoy watching movies with friends and family and stuff, so it would probably be just hanging out a lot, maybe going out to lunch with someone and then watching a movie with a group or some friends, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, a, really, that's a really nice Ooh. humble day. And maybe hit, the, hit a tennis ball around a bit. I do really enjoy tennis. <laughs> we might have to have ourselves a little blurb tennis tournament. 
coming soon to a blurb near you. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, um, move, so moving on to our next question, I wanted to also ask, what are some of your favorite albums that I've ever released? Well, I love In the Aeroplane Over the Sea. I sound, I might sound like cringe or whatever saying that, but it is an awesome album. What uh, is that? A Neutral Milk Hotel. Uh, I also really like um, Sounds of Silence, uh, or Sound of Silence, Simon and Garfunkel. I love Simon well, and Garfunkel. A little more familiar, yeah. Uh, I also really like um, Rise and Fall of a Midwestern Princess. Course, we were talking yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, Chap around. Yeah. And then, ooh, this is A Thousand Gecks, their first like album. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think I've really listened to most of those, but knowing you, I know you have good taste, so oh, I'm sure you. they're probably very high quality. Also, if it counts, uh, I don't want to name it anything with Beach in the title. It's an EP that's only on SoundCloud or YouTube. It's by Laura Less, who's the girl in 100 Gex, before she did 100 Gex, and I listen to it all the time. It's short, it's sweet, it's awesome. I love it. I'm learning a lot today. That's that is really neat. Something I'll definitely have to definitely a lot of things I'll have to definitely look into for sure. Do you think dreams have deep, deeper meanings? I don't know if deeper meanings is the right word, but I do think that uh, things can totally affect what you dream. And then if you remember a dream, sometimes I can pinpoint why I dreamt about that. Like um, if people show up in your dream, you know, then you probably are thinking about them or you're seeing them or talking about them or talking to them. Like I've had dreams before where I'll be texting my friend right before I fall asleep and then the next morning I wake up and they were like, oh, Jacob is in my dream. And then I remember that I was texting them right before, like while I was really tired and right before I went to bed. Or um, again on SNL, one time I had, I, I've had two stress dreams where I'm working at SNL, but it's super stressful. And I know that because I was listening to people talking about how stressful it was on a podcast, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> hey, I mean, but yeah, that correlates. So they're not always good, uh, but, and I don't know if deeper meanings is the right word, but I definitely do think that it is your brain processing stuff or using stuff from the outside world that might have some meaning or a connection. Yeah. Well said. Very well said. Thank you. You know, speaking of meanings, I'm about to ask you an even deeper question. Uh -huh. What do you say is the meaning of life? Broad question. Whoa. Um, 42, whatever. Oh, yeah, uh, I forgot that number <laughs> had a, that number was a big popular answer for that question. Yeah, uh, that's from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I think. Oh, I didn't um, even know where it was from. But I guess, like, be kind and uh, meaning of life. Okay, yeah. Be kind, um, be thoughtful, uh, be caring to yourself and others. Uh, try and do what would be best. Try and stay mindful and also make sure you're having fun and... Uh, Everything, like, uh, I'm not religious or anything, but, like, from dust to dust, you know? Like, be like, hey, we're all just on, like, our own thing. We're, do we're all doing our own thing. Try and uh, not worry about everything too much because in the end, you die. And then, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just very well said. Very oh, well you. said across the board, my friend. Thank you.